There is a gospel that is called the seducing gospel. What is the seducing gospel? The gospel whereby somebody will come and flash in your presence. They are seducing you into believing whatever they are about to say. <laughs> it is seduction. For the longest time, people have believed that whenever you are going to church, you are going to receive marriage. For the longest time, people have been made to believe by the seducing pastors, by the seducing prophets. So this is another name for them again. They are called the seducing prophets. They are called the seducing pastors. They are called the seducing apostles. So you can call them charlatans. You can call them seducing prophets. Whatever you want to call them, you can call them. Because that is, we are not a, a, a calling them names. We are properly defining them. And we are describing them according to how they are. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? So mark them those who cause confusion and division in the church. How are they causing confusion? By bringing a gospel that is not the gospel of Christ. Which one is that gospel? The gospel of prosperity is the gospel of seduction. The prosperity gospel is a seduction gospel. Because it is a gospel that is always promising you. Any person who's always promising and promising and promising and promising is trying to seduce you into something. It might not be sexual seduction, but it is financial seduction, spiritual seduction. You are being seduced into something that you don't know. So when you see them going online and telling you that, oh no, I'm the richest pastor in the whole world, it's a ah, seducing spirit. I just bought a, 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 a Rolls Royce yesterday a, 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 because a, I have, I've got a lot of money, seducing spirit. They are seducing you into believing that they have it until you get closer, then you realize that, hey, there's nothing here. Why? Because they'll tell you, but you seduced me from uh, Facebook. You seduced me from uh, Twitter. You seduced me from Instagram. You made me believe that there is something that I'll get. Now that I'm here, I'm coming to see you. You are telling me that for me to enter your office and for me to open your door, I must pay you 5,000 rand. What kind of nonsense is this one? May God deliver his church in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. May God set you free from such jackals, from such foxes, and from such people in Jesus' mighty name. Are you there? Continue, Apostle Vic. Contrary to the doctrine which you have learned, and avoid. and avoid them. The Bible says what? Avoid them. Avoid who? Avoid those jackals. <laughs> avoid those foxes. Avoid them at all costs. Meaning to say from tonight, avoid going to their churches. From today, avoid going to their churches. Avoid following them. Avoid listening to their messages because their messages are seducing messages. Avoid listening to their prophecies because their prophecies are seducing prophecies. Avoid listening to whatever that they say because whatever that they're going to tell you, it is seduction. Seducing you into giving them money. Seducing you into giving them whatever they want. Seducing you into a place where you become vulnerable and they will use you and dump you. Mark them and avoid them. They come with seduction messages. They come with seducing messages. Everything about them is to seduce you. Yeah, you are being seduced. Where does the spirit of seduction come from? It is a, a, a stemming from the spirit of Jezebel. So Jezebel is the mother of seduction. So all these prophets who are coming, all these fake prophets and false pastors and false teachers who are coming with messages of seduction, they are not serving the Lord, but they are daughters of Jezebel. <laughs> These are Jezebel daughters. They are operating by the Jezebelic anointing. That is why after they lay hands on you, anywhere you go, you want to become the next big thing. The day they lay their hands on you, you want to become the next biggest man of God on earth. The day they lay their hands on you, you want to become the next biggest prophet on earth. That is why you change your name. From your name, you are no longer a whatever they used to call you. From now you are Bazooka Fort. Now you are the, ele uh, 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 the electric electrifier. Now you are the, the spiritual counselor. Now you are the... This is nonsense. You are a brother in Christ. 